and just like that the engine is out i'm very excited hello everyone welcome back today we are gonna try to sort out this car it is a very nice mini cooper my good friend uh, bought it but it's very broken <laughs> It's a 1.5 diesel, it has a BMW diesel engine and the timing chain is stretched, like seriously stretched. Uh, we are going to try to fix that and uh, also I'm going to show you everything uh, what's broken on this car. Otherwise it's a very very nice little piece of uh, machine. It's automatic, it drives good, but the rattle is 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 very 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 bad i don't even have the courage to start up the car now and to show you my friend parked it up as it is and i'm not gonna restart it just after the, the timing chain job because i don't want to to snap on me it will be <laughs> my fault so i will be doing this in the next probably two days let's uh, start disassembling the front unfortunately the whole engine needs to come off Big jobs are our uh, our favorite, so <laughs> let's do that. Very, very important note. This is my first ever Mini Cooper diesel timing chain job. I have never ever done one. So it's like we are finding out things as it is, and it's quite similar to N47 BMW engines. Basically, it is an N47 except uh, one cylinder, but still, it's different. It's a Mini, so it will be a challenge but we are gonna sort it out i have no doubt Just like that, the front end is halfway off. Now, what's next? I imagine the whole frame should come off in one piece.
I don't know how it's possible that I'm already removing the front frame so it's either very easy or Ladies and gentlemen, it is showtime. I'm gonna ask the help of my good friend. My good friend. And just like that, the engine is out. I'm very excited, very, very thankful, and everything happy. Uh, it was a big job, uh, but uh, yeah, I've made it. Uh, parts are very tight, but nevertheless, it's out. Uh, the fun starts now. Everything needs to come apart. Intake, wiring harness, obviously the injectors, the rocker cover. The gearbox needs to go uh, EGR cooler, part of the exhaust, so we have a lot of work on our hands. But hey, I'm excited. This is what we do. And uh, yeah, let's carry on. Also, let's do a closer look. Wiring, ECU, exhaust shafts are out the axle shafts and this is the baby engine it is very compact 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 i don't know how to pronounce it i, I am happy look at this mess and we made this mess that's what i like to see that's what i like to see challenges challenges and hard work this is what we do here at w15 hard work
So now I'm removing the flywheel torque converter bolts, uh, 60 degree bolts. I already removed two. So I'm removing them one by one. Just like that, one is out. I imagine there is like three more, two more, and then I can start removing the gearbox bolts all around and then uh, I can slowly just remove the gearbox so these are the torque converter flywheel bolts this small tool comes in the timing chain tool kit so this is what I'm using to rotate the engine and also I'm using it as a counter holding uh, yeah, there is another one. I'm never using impact guns, not even removing. <sighs> another one out, so this is four. Let's see how many more. so far another one yeah probably it's gonna be six let's have a look yeah all out so we have it's a very strange Solution, but yeah. So now I'm removing the gearbox bolt. The gearbox is being separated now. <clears throat> oh, it's quite heavy. And we finally, finally it's free. Let me double check. I don't want to pull the engine and to drag gearbox with it. Yes, it is separated. Thank God. Yeah, much much easier. So, my dear friends. This is what sucking on a different level looks like. It's not easy. It's not easy. I uh, I want to. Uh, I need a proper jet so I, I could work more freely. But whatever. Let's not complain. There is some oil leak. The rear main seal is uh, is leaking oil. But uh, now what I'm uh, curious, uh, when I scanned the car, there was a fault code that crankshaft, camshaft, correlation difference or something like that. So I think the timing chain is very stretched or even what's even worse, 
it, uh, it joins the tooth, speed, tooth, whatever. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna lock the flywheel at top and center. I will start removing the injectors, the rocker cover, and then I will put the, the locking tool as well to see uh, if they are on, on, on time. So let's do that. Uh, I'm gonna put the engine down and I will start taking apart the, the bits from, from here, from this side, EGR uh, and, and everything. So let's, let's do that. So now I'm removing the intake manifold and I just need the one yeah. I'm gonna just drop everything and this there is this wire it was still connected because it was a very very bent strange position so I have to do it now. Yeah, just like that. Intake manifold is off. Have a look at the suit accumulation. So now, as you can see, intake manifold is off, EGR is off. I will start removing the injectors. Just one by one. And now I can start using my impact gun. Hi baby BMW engine, holy three cylinders. So check this out everyone, straight away 